Hello and welcome back to VGM and Dream Daddy, everybody. Smooth. <laughs> That's just how we're going to start the episode, huh? All right. Yes, exactly. Crack open, you know, the Pepsi. Crack and open I mean, a cold what? one. It is cold. It's not alcohol, opening ASMR it... for all you watching at home. Taco. Taco is quite known for doing that on on her own personal streams, so uh, you know, <laughs> just just so you all know. <laughs> I, I know I, some people are into that. Hey, it's okay. A lot of people surprised how many people have been sticking around to watch Ta Taco play Pal World, honestly. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's kind of boring. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to Dream Daddy, everybody. Help uh, well, was we're talking. Hopefully, with we Robert. find out what uh, Oso, Oso Boko is. Boko? Uh, Uso Boko. Oso Boko? Oso... I I feel like I should look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Oso... It's a local. It's a dish. Do, 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 do. Who gave the guest? Uh, this is a specialty of Lombard cuisine. A crosscut veal shanks braised with vegetables white wine and broth it is often garnished with gremolata and traditionally served with either risotto a la something or uh, polenta depending on the regional variation huh hmm. that sounds delightful actually it's a veal it, it, it doesn't yeah it doesn't sound too bad I'd like to try it but also like I've never I'm not sure if I would like it personally so. i'd probably like it but you probably would i think i don't know it also has i'm also a garbage do... disposal and we'll eat just about anything so <laughs> i eat, i'm a garbage disposal on the fact that i eat way too much uh, fast food so <laughs> <laughs> robert leaves the room the presumably to go to the kitchen craig leans in and whispers hmm. was the dog fighting thing real or was he kidding no, that was real. I don't know. That is 100% real. Yeah, absolutely. I'm with you on that one. That is 100% real. <laughs> What's oh so bucko? There are some, Taco there are literally some things just said that, joke. Craig. You're not paying attention? <laughs> Craig doesn't they hear can't? Taco. Taco, they don't hear the taco. That's okay. I literally, I cheated. I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a phone right there on his arm. He can look it up. I actually, I actually just use a different tab, so, uh, <laughs> cause I have two screens again, it's wonderful. Also, is it just me or does he look weird without the papoose? He does look a little weird without the papoose. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing him without the papoose and the baby on the, f hanging off this front. It's true, he's, it's, it's a bit weird, not, not seeing him with a papoose. It is just a little bit weird. I don't know. Did he make up that word? Until I have Oso Bucko in front of me, we can only assume so. Also, the comments are going to have a heyday. Two episodes in a row of probably butchering the name of this dish. We sit in silence for a second, thinking about all the hateful comments. Taking in Robert's <laughs> living room. All the hateful comments that will appear on this video. <laughs> <laughs> are we about to get sawed? Nah, usually you wake up in those situations. We voluntarily walked into this one. <laughs> you voluntarily walked into this we one. We voluntarily <laughs> walked into Saw. Let's play a game. <laughs> he pulls out a Saw. <laughs> <laughs> in front of you is a bag of peas. Wait, wait, stop eating them. I haven't explained the crap yet. Throw the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that meme. <laughs> Robert finally walks into the room carrying three paper plates of steaming food like a waiter. I don't have a dining table. Don't trust him. So we're eating here. I... You know what? Fair. Awesome. You know what? Fair. Actually, that is a little weird that he doesn't have... Gotta be honest, it is a bit weird that he doesn't have a dining room table, but... At the same time, it is cheaper to not have an actual fancy dining room table. Also, so, I don't have real people plates. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, saves on dishes, man. 
You don't have to be absolutely. Dishes. If Taco can be 100% honest, Taco, we we actually use way more paper plates than we we do have actual plates, and we even have china, like we have my grandma's china. But most of our food, most of the time, we eat on paper plates. <laughs> we have real people plates, and we eat on the real people plates. <laughs> I mean, I we used to do that, but for some reason in this house, like we just started, we just started using paper plates, and we just haven't stopped. We like we eat almost everything on paper plates now. You have a dishwasher? We do have a dishwasher. Oh, we just we have a dishwasher. Use, so we don't we just plates we just we use paper the plates. We just use paper plates for some reason. Like we all, the only thing we don't use is plastic forks we use actual metal forks and oh yeah Pla plastic and cutlery that sucks plastic cutlery is the worst but like paper plates fantastic we we use the good ones we, anyway we, you, you we definitely don't most, want the flimsy ones that just fall over on the most, way of your food most of us just eat with with yeah we just eat off our we just use paper plates for, for almost everything unless we're having like a fancy dinner or we're having but you, you, well, actually, even sometimes when we have guests over, we're just like, eh, paper plates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Fuck it, paper plates. Yeah. All right. Like we we fuck we, it. we reserve like we reserve our actual plates for like actual things. It's pro I think it's because my mom's just sick of doing dishes or uh, something. I mean, yeah, which, you again, have fair. a dishwasher. Just load up the dishwasher. It does it for you. You it do, uh, we know, but you know, thing so. Uh, you, anyway, you have Robert sets plates in front anyway, of us anyway, on the anyway, coffee it's table. It's I still have to tell what it is. Looks like meat. Maybe lots of sauce. I can't. I can make out it some does, vegetables. It, I, I feel like I should show you the picture of it. It, it actually does look okay. Like I'll, I'll show you an, a picture of it. Sadly, chat uh, or YouTube YouTube side of things. He Dragono might be able to show you. Um. Anyways, it can be made yeah, a uh, bunch of uh, stuff. Editor, uh, throw up a picture of Osobucko now. <laughs> the, see, look, pre pretty, pretty meaty, pretty saucy. Um, here's here's a good one. Yeah. So on. saucy. Copy image. Let's see if it'll let me. I say editor, but I'm the editor. It's you. <laughs> You're the editor. So that's what it looks like. Well, one of the dishes. You can go bigger, smaller. Yeah. That does look good. I need that. Yeah, it's like veal. Yeah. Which it, is it looks interesting. It looks good enough. Veal and a bunch of stuff. It 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 doesn't look bad by any means. Yeah, I need that. I think that yeah, might be rice, but it could also be pasta. Guess there's only one way to find out. I think it's rice. I take a bite. It, hey. It's it's probably rice. If I had oh to my guess. god. <laughs> I take another bite. The medley of flavors in this dish is amazing. The meat is so tender, and the risotto, I think that's what it is, is so creamy. Hmm. Robert, Dude. this Fuck is yeah. really incredible. You cooked this? Mm -hmm. No, I bought it five miles down the street. <laughs> I it out of a dumpster behind a restaurant. Or at least I think it was a restaurant. <laughs> I knew where he was going. <laughs> that's great. I mean, they had it with the setup before with Craig. Oh, that's amazing. That is a pretty good setup. Gosh dang. Can you believe people just throw this stuff away? I almost Yes, gagged. actually, people will throw people will throw this stuff away, yes. I'm kidding. Though usually it's probably doesn't look anywhere near as good as or as taste as good as this, as what he what is described. <laughs> I look over at Craig who looks wary but still has his mouth full. He gives Robert a thumbs up. Let's no, he like... actually did cook it. He he's being sarcastic, by the way, for oh, yeah. those who couldn't tell. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he was being 100% sarcastic. <laughs> Where did you learn how to cook like this? Uh -huh. Worked at a restaurant in Spain Love for a hot sec. Is he messing with yeah. us? I decided to play along. You lived in Spain? I think. After I dropped out of college, I went backpacking through Europe. Crashing on couches, sleeping in hotels. Whatever. Hostels. Hostels. Whatever. Yeah, they're they're kind of the same thing, but kind of not. the same thing. 
totally broke. Worked a couple of odd jobs. Wherever I could to scrape together some cash. He's being honest, by the way. Can we, can we get past the robber scene? His voice is murder on my throat. Oh. <laughs> if only, Dragon, if only. <laughs> One night I'm eating dinner at this little restaurant just outside of Madrid. Madrid. Madrid bread. My dry bread. <laughs> <laughs> As tacos just over here. This dragon. Oh, this is this is how it's said. <laughs> I go to pay and realize I spent the last of my money on booze the night before. Hey, I'm in the middle of ditching when the manager catches me and puts me to work in the kitchen. Hmm. Long story short, they end up liking me so much they offered me a side or offered me a job. Why not, right? Started living with some distant relatives on my ma's side. Hey. Over the course of two years, I worked my way up from busboy to sous chef. Learned a lot. You became sous chef? Wow, that's cool. Craig and I wait for the punchline. What? No, no, he's, he's dead serious. <laughs> did he swindle to get back to the States? Who did he con in a game of poker in the back room of a speakeasy for safe passage in the crew quarters of a cargo ship? Oh. Anyway, I still love to cook. Yep. I don't know what's real anymore, but his this food's so good, I kind of don't care. <laughs> Fair enough. That's amazing. I I'm pretty sure it was 100 percent Oz. I'm pretty sure he was. Yeah, mostly I think that was real. That story. Yeah, I think yeah. that was real. Most of that story was mostly real. Also, I, I don't know if the details I, are right, but I, I uh, feel splurred on this. It, and you have food that good like you don't really care about the details just give me just, more shove it into my face hole please i don't i don't care who you murdered to learn how to cook this good give me more <laughs> this is people well it's fucking delicious <laughs> this is people <laughs> i mean while in his basement he's just got like Hunks of meat guy barking. Up by hooks and blood everywhere. There's a guy literally barking like a dog. <laughs> it's just his gimp. It's just his gimp. <laughs> hey, you ever see Pulp Fiction? It's the gimp. The gimp. You gotta have the gimp. <laughs> he keeps him in a box. Yeah, you're not supposed to let the gimp out, man. Come on. That's right. <laughs> Don't you know the rule, first rule of GIMP? Don't let the GIMP out. <laughs> so I don't even know what a GIMP is. Yes, I'm vaguely aware of what a GIMP okay. is. I did play Saints Row 4 and 3. Oh, well. <laughs> it really some is. of those scenes, some of those, some of the, that story is very interesting. <laughs> For sure. It really yes. is. Anyway. To be totally honest, I wasn't exactly expecting gourmet cooking here especially not served on paper plates hmm. fair fair craig fair i don't know if i would have expected it either i don't care about the presentation if the food is good it should speak for itself i feel this robert <laughs> the oso bucko is I've, screaming I've, for itself i i am 100 percent on board with that um just fucking I actually, it's because I, when I was a dishwasher, when I was a dishwasher, I, uh, we worked for, I wasn't a dishwasher for, like, a fast food place. I was a dishwasher for, like, a country club. Oh. Mind you. I worked on a fancy. golf course. Oh, fancy. For rich people. <laughs> and every, and we used to have a lot of events, especially in the summer, and every so often, Chef had to have, Chef had to have us come down and help him help prepare and make the plates and like put them dish up plates basically. And so we basically made an assembly line of putting stuff on plates. <laughs> Taco, at, Taco at the end just drops a piece of parsley on the plate. And a few pieces done. of parsley. <laughs> there, I have I have actually placed a few parsleys. Yes. <laughs> A lot of the time it was like putting sauce on the thing, making sure it's not overdone on the meat or whatnot. And yeah, it's it's presentation. I could care less for at this point. I'll just it's swap a pain it in the ass the to do. Me. It's a pain in the ass to do. 
And I honestly don't think anyone actually cares. No. <laughs> like, and, and like uh, big dinners, like Thanksgiving and stuff, like I will just load up a plate. Like I'm throwing stuff on top of you're other kidding stuff. Me, if you're the best Thanksgiving I'll mix it dinner together and just eat it all in one bite. And the just... best, the best Thanksgiving dinners are usually always on paper plates. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it. The best ones are on paper plates. <laughs> we usually have it on paper plates because we go to my cousin's and she doesn't feel like washing dishes after. I don't blame her. Dishes. I have worked when I was a dishwasher. I have worked way too many Thanksgivings and I would be there till pretty late at night. <laughs> I was there pretty late at night anyway, for most most of my job anyway. But I, the difference is I would actually be like. Basically. Yeah, like, extra like hours. What? You cut out there basically and it would be the entire time just washing dishes the okay. entire time it it sucked i hated it <laughs> <laughs> anyway and back to plates back are to, just uh, good as regular plates if you double them up hmm? he's not wrong like you put enough paper plates on yeah. under each other you, you stack really enough paper, paper plates. plates you don't even need to double them up it's true and even if it, even if you do need to double up paper plates you could just put more paper plates in the stack you right. can just put it more in <laughs> you can just keep doubling them <laughs> hey is it bad if, <laughs> if i ask for seconds mm -hmm. help yourself to save room for dessert i made lemon berry oh. saverin oh i don't know what saverin is but that does sound amazing lemon, lemon berry. berry yeah it does sound pretty oh. good oh i'm tempted to look what sa <laughs> what saverin is I'm tempted. Well, aren't you just full of... Craig looks over at me. Hey! Surprises? Robert winks. You bet I am. Hell yes. <laughs> you can come over for dinner anytime. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I am unironically loving Robert. <laughs> right? Craig. Hmm? Um, I'm gonna go for second. Me too. After consuming oh, yes. way more Oso Bucko than my body could handle, and then really ensuring a later food coma with a generous serving of whatever Saverin was, Craig and I decided to head out. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. I'm, I'm making an attempt to be is. more social. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, especially since your your therapist probably, or yeah, you know, probably <laughs> yeah, right. was like, you're probably <laughs> like, you need to be more social with people. Do I have to? So it's a type of cake. Saverin is a type of cake. Oh, okay. Basically. Lemon, lemon berry. I bet that would be good then. I might have to try my hand at that at some point. Yeah, it actually looks really good. Um, <laughs> you want to send me a yeah, picture of that Google. too? Uh, yeah, give me a second. I will send you a pic. I'll try and find <laughs> a uh, a good picture of one. Ooh, that one looks really good. I'll send that one to you. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. Uh, uh, do, do, do. I'll I'll send you a few. Uh, editor, uh, uh, put up a picture of the cake now. Oh, that does look good. Yep, it is. A, it is a cake. It almost looks like a, almost like a bunt like cake. A, yeah, like a type of bunt cake. It probably is actually, but like you can make them super small though, apparently. Like, uh, yeah. for example, like mini this, buns. This one, like little this, like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. So yeah, you can make them pretty small too. So. I might have to try my hand at one of those at some point. Yeah, that's, I, I, I say the editor put in the picture of it, and it's just going to be me putting the text "fuck you" over the top of the Fuck video. you over the. <laughs> that's up to you, Dragon. You're the editor, how, after how, all. How dare, how dare I give me extra work? <laughs> how dare you? And maybe you know people actually might actually you know have to watch the stream for what or the the video for once. <laughs> It's just a bold letters. No. <laughs> just no. <laughs> well, we're always happy to stop by if you want company. Especially if there's Osobuco involved. 
Oh, hell yeah. Free food? Mm. <laughs> Especially really good food. Good, uh, <laughs> free food. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> hey, look, we're back to dating again. Who do we want to go yeah. see this time? Uh, Robert, to kill my voice some more. Yeah, don't do not do Robert. You're going to kill your voice trying to do his voice. Probably should take his a break from His voice has been Damien. extremely inconsistent because it's like I do it one way and it, like, it starts to hurt, so I have to do it a different way. Yeah. Actually, you know what? No, you you make your decision. I, if you if you want to go straight for Damien, do it. If not, uh, whatever. Uh, yes, yeah, straight for Damien. In fact, it, it should be. We got a heart on him. Do we have a heart on anybody? On that heart on that one? Nope. We haven't been Robert. on dates with them. So, okay. I was wondering if okay. we got a heart from that dinner thing. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a lot longer of a game than we thought. <laughs> Yeah, if it's going to sprinkle those in between dates, like, dear lord. This this is truly a dating sim, everybody. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. And by, like, uh, what if you just, as much like, as... Is there a point that it ends? Does it end after, like, uh, three hearts? Or does it end when somebody gets three hearts? Could we, like, go through and get, like, two hearts on everybody and then do our final date? I'm not going to. I, I know. I was like, I don't know if we wanted. Like, we might have to like save this for like another time, like another ha like uh, Valentine's month or whatever. <laughs> that this was supposed to be a this... part of, but went way longer than it was meant to be. We 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 didn't know how long this game was. <laughs> this game is so long. <laughs> <laughs> Well, year round love, everybody. We we yep, started we started in February. That's what counts. That is true. We're gonna be reached next February by the time we're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which we'll be starting another game so then. Hell yes. But Which yeah. it'll be good, but like yeah. Dang it. So yeah, uh, uh, up to you, I guess at this point. I don't know when this game ends. I honestly don't. I've never played it before. I don't know how long it is. It's. it's... We'll figure it out. <laughs> well, it's, I've, that almost wanted to be a segue into freaking next time on VGM, but no. We got like <laughs> eight like more that. minutes. We got eight more minutes. <laughs> I had a lot of fun hanging out with Damien in the, the other day. I wonder what he's up to. Open up dad book and start writing him a message when Amanda walks in the door. When Amanda walks in. <laughs> Started to make trouble in my neighborhood. I mean, what? <laughs> Amanda enters stage right. <laughs> dad, you got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got, we a, just letter. got a letter. We just got, we just a, got letter. a letter. Wonder who, Wonder it's, who from. it's from. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Steve. <laughs> you like mushrooms? Am I a mushroom? <laughs> yeah, I, I personally, I would, do, I would rub my eyes, but like, what? <laughs> this is from like First... ten thousand years in the past. <laughs> Dude, I was freaking, freaking during co or what was it? That one point time when he actually like made a message to everybody. Oh, yeah, uh, old Steve. Yeah. Yeah. And he was, was like super, super wholesome and super kind and wonderful. And we all, the entire internet died. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, my feelings. <laughs> my feelings. <laughs> Miss Steve, man. Oh, is I it from Grandma? I him, man. They know it from grandma. <laughs> Sorry. What were you saying? Uh, I'm not saying anything. Yeah, you should be saying okay. something. Uh, okay. Sorry. I, I thought you were <laughs> go, starting a thing. Okay. My bad. Um, no, it's from Damien. Because, you know, he's a vampire or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, can I see it? I was like, bro, why are you, why are you messaging on dad book when you like, know, but, you know, Damien? Can I see it? You're... It's fucking for me. What do you mean, can I see it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Of old parchment, to, like, dude. 
Dude. <laughs> Amanda hands me a piece of old parchment folded into an envelope and sealed with purple wax. Damn. The dude goes all out. Dude, the aesthetic. I'm almost dying over here. Um, <laughs> right? I pry off the seal and unfold the letter. In the most beautiful calligraphy, the letter reads... It better Dear show up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am so happy! <laughs> I hope oh, you'll find me... my continued correspondence endearing rather than crying. One can only hope that my use of the slower, more traditional form of communication will showcase my sincere and earnest sentiment that I greatly enjoyed our time together. I write this hastily under the warm embrace of excitement, fearful that... I may misstep and speak towards something unwelcome. For now, I hope that you might forgive my boldness. I will simply say that your company has greatly occupied my thoughts. While the afternoon may have been derailed by forces unforeseen, your companionship helped a great deal, not only in the discipline of my child, but in the morale of my spirit. And for that, I thank you. That said, splurt. If you'll allow me, it would mean the world to me if I could enjoy more of your time. Perhaps a trip to the cinema followed by a moonlit stroll would be to your taste. I eagerly await your response. With great respect, Damien Bloodmarch. So, for our younger audience, I came. who doesn't understand, <laughs> you came. <laughs> you came. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> you just see white stuff fly up under the paper. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you said you came. <laughs> it's a uh, it's sour cream. It's sour cream. The burrito. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. The burritos from earlier, you know. <laughs> yeah, save one for later. You saved one for later, because let's face it, you you do that. You you just do. Um, <laughs> for for anyways, as I was saying, for for a younger audience who doesn't understand uh, some of these bigger words, <laughs> yeah, I'm calling you all idiots. Um, <laughs> for those who don't understand wow, what what is being rude. <laughs> for for those who don't understand, well, to be entirely truthful, a lot of these big words are also like super old big words too that d d d come on do you know how many young people probably don't understand what this letter said <laughs> no i understood it perfectly exactly i, I understood it perfectly too <laughs> uh, it's more of the fact that it, like there's just some words that they'll, they'll just be skipped over or just yeah or they don't understand, like, I don't know how many young people under truly understand what, understand what was in this letter. And it will be interesting to see. <laughs> They've pro they probably understood it perfectly, but at the same time, there might be a few people who who look at this and go, What the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand this letter at all! <laughs> For those who do not understand, let me put it in an in, in easier speech form. He just asked us out for a freaking... Um, Dinner in a movie. <laughs> yeah, well, not really dinner in a movie, a but like, he has us out on a date specifically a to go a to stroll. a movie, movie in a midnight stroll. Yeah, in the moonlight, because moonlight. we're sticking with the vampire theme. Blah blah blah. <laughs> hey, he's he's dude. If you got the money to do it, I'm not knocking it. <laughs> 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 and besides, bes like, like. People, I know there are probably people who be like, "That's weird to do the whole vampire thing." I'm like, bruh, if you live your dream, if this is how you want to live, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, freaking go for it, go for it. And honestly, I'm there's a lot of ref great refinement here. Like, I'm here for it. As 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 we said, we came just reading the letter. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, you too. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda and I both look up from the letter. <laughs> wow, sorry, you, you, I'm behind. I'm behind because of the stream. Oh, I'm I didn't not... do the disc crap. 
right. Yeah. Yeah, that's... The, I wanted to see how long it would take you to realize that. <laughs> uh, forever, if you hadn't mentioned anything. <laughs> He's good. Yeah, the entire... The entire six hours of our uh, streaming session. <laughs> so, you gonna catch a movie with him? Yeah. Wow, she I understood better message it. Holy him fuck. Him and know. <laughs> Well, she is she is a college girl, so I guess yeah. yeah. It, Amanda I guess she smart. understood it. She She's is smart, smart girl. Smart girl. Rain mini rain. She understands the she understands the 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 dad speak in old old man language. <laughs> Amanda slaps my laptop shut. You have to write him back a real letter. She, she's not wrong. You oh, yeah. can only accept this by formal writing, dude. But my handwriting looks like two toddlers fighting over a crayon. Hey. Yes, I, I do. feel that. <laughs> I say, my dude. handwriting is atrocious. It's uh, I, I I what was it when I was when I was a bit older as a teen I would be like I'd call it a uh, because I learned that a lot of construction guys also have terrible handwriting like mine and it's because like it, if it gets the job done. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. So I call I call my handwriting freaking construction uh, construction writing. Because <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Anyway, <laughs> Dad, you have to. He wrote you a letter. That's so cool. I mean, I'm with her, dude. That's fucking. Not only did she he write you a letter, he wrote you a letter on parchment, not paper. Parchment. <laughs> exactly. With, he probably did it, and he probably did it with a quill. Probably. And an ink. I 100% believe he did it with his quill and bottle of ink. Classic. And he probably also did it by a freaking candlelight too. Right. Will you help me? 100%. I need to class this up. And then seal it with an actual wax and do it. Mm. Mm. You, you, you can't. You, you wanted to sell me on this dad, man. You, I'm sold. <laughs> like, like I know, I know a lot of people are like, yeah, but it's isn't it weird to be just like going with that whole aesthetic the entire time? Like, no. Fucking if you really commit to it, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> especially, Absolutely. especially that Victorian era, especially Victorian era, that whole era anywhere in there, really, because it's several like basically almost a century um <laughs> almost millennium actually my bad anyway father i was made for this here's what you do next Wait, time what? on vgm oh yeah i forgot to tell you that yeah <laughs> next time on vgm wait what amanda was made for this uh find, find out next time bye bye